to Hardy says there's been positive response from teams to the therapy and the counseling. Hardy remains unsigned in free agency after finishing his one-year deal with the Dallas Cowboys. Stephen A., do you believe that he deserves a second chance? No, I do not. Not at this moment in time. Uh, that's kind of deep coming from me because I pride myself on reminding everybody that America is the land of second chances, that people make mistakes, uh, and that, you know, uh, the appropriate contrition once it's shown um, obviously should should be taken into strong consideration and we should move forward because I'm of the mindset uh, that if you're not in prison, if you're not incarcerated, you're a part of our society and leave you hanging puts us all uh, in danger because you're only as strong as your weakest links. And if you're not affording opportunities uh, to those uh, who are less fortunate or are in situations where uh, they have uphill challenges, then you know what? You're, you're defeating a purpose. Uh, we, you know, to me, as, that's just the way that I look at things. But Greg Hardy is the exception. And the reason why Greg Hardy is the exception is because the only level of contrition that I've seen him display is when he was trying to get a job. He was doing things that was advantageous for him. And if you've got anger management issues and all of this other stuff, why are those things not on display when you need a job? Why is it only when you have a job and you have millions coming to you? And then all of a sudden you have no ability to control yourself. But when you don't have a check coming in and you are trying to get paid, all of a sudden, you know, you can sit down and have a decent conversation and maintain control and discipline and exercise self-control and don't have to worry about temper tantrums or having anger management issues. To me, if you put those things on display when you're in pursuit of something you want, but you do not yet have, then it's something that should always be, you should always be capable of doing. And the fact that that wasn't the case with him when he was a member of the Dallas Cowboys, the fact that that wasn't the case with him when he was being interviewed, the fact that that wasn't the case with him when he had been suspended from the league, when a judge had, a, during a bench trial had ruled that he had, that, that he was guilty of domestic violence and you making rap videos and doing all of this other stuff, showed no contrition whatsoever, nothing apologetic about him uh, whatsoever. I think that eventually he should get a second chance. I just don't believe it should be anytime soon, meaning this season. Mm -hmm. I think you have to show him that there is a price that you pay for all of this stuff. So once he ultimately comes back into the league, he doesn't make these mistakes again. Mm -hmm. Stephen A, to me, he got a second chance last year in Dallas. And my opinion hasn't changed. I was ashamed that my Cowboys took a, a, a risk on him and he quickly became in my view more troubled than he was worth for my Cowboys because reportedly he began to be late and or to miss meetings reportedly he had disagreements in the locker room with teammates and became harder and harder to get along with and we all saw with our own eyes on television that night at Giants that he displayed some dare I say emotional instability when he broke into the middle of the Cowboys special teams huddle after a kick was returned for a touchdown and got into it with the special teams coach and had a little shoving match with him. It was a bad look. It was a bad sign. And now I get it that it's, it's supposed to be a good look for him, Drew Rosenhaus's agent, to say, well, at least we're going to counseling here and we're, we're doing it for all these things that Molly listed, anger management and temper management and attention deficit and domestic violence, you know, everything, all, all these sessions. Okay, I, I get all that. But to your point, Stephen A., not once has he shown a, a hint of remorse or contrition for his domestic violence incident. Not once. And, and until he at least does that, he, he, to me, has no chance of ever getting back into the league because he's still toxic just because of that. In his recent interview with Adam Schefter, not only did he not show any remorse or contrition, but it was, whoa, I've never put my hands on a woman, and you just think, well, you're delusional. I, I, don't, I don't know. And, and to me, that was the, the, the final straw where the, I, I, I would think most people around the league, most GMs, presidents, owners, would say, no, it's over. Enough of that. Can't say it any better, Skip. Yeah. You said it perfectly. My thoughts exactly. This past year was, was the second chance. 
Coming up next, the Heat face elimination tonight at home. Stephen A. will be covering that game. Will Dwayne Wade be able to send the series back to Toronto for a Game 7? We'll get into that when we return. Stay here. Now Miami is a four-point favorite at home. Stephen A., do you think they push it to a Game 7? I do believe they do because they have Dwayne Wade, and I can't, I can't imagine him going out this way. Skip Bayless, I, you know, I, I, I spoke to him briefly the other day. He, he, he wants to win this so badly. He would love to go up against uh, LeBron James in the conference finals. I don't know if they're going to be able to pull it off because I don't know if they can win a game seven in Toronto without Whiteside because I don't know. I know he's not playing tonight. Dang, it's questionable for tonight. Uh, but, but I think they can win tonight without those guys. I don't know if that can happen in the game seven. I'm going to roll with Miami to win game six tonight and force a game seven back in Toronto this Sunday afternoon, but they got to get it done tonight first. You know, one reason we were talking about LeBron decided to watch movies with his kids, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, and then whatever the vampire movie was. That was an odd combination to me, yeah. but anyway, whatever. But one reason I think he no longer cared about the heat or what threat they are, Stephen A., now that Whiteside is out, maybe for the rest of the playoffs with a sprained knee, and obviously Chris Bosh is out, maybe LeBron just said, well, as, as great as Dwayne is, as, certainly at this stage of his career, they're just, they're not much of a threat to Cleveland anymore. So it doesn't really matter that much anymore. So I'm with you. I'm rooting for Dwayne. Dwayne was great the other night down the stretch. And Kyle Lowry was greater. And, and he'd been in a slump. And my goodness, what, the, the shots that Kyle Lowry heart. made. What's that? Yeah. Kyle Lowry's always had a lot of heart. I know I, him I know. from his days well, at Villanova. Yeah. He's always been feisty, uh, and he goes after it. Yeah, and yet he'd been in such a terrible slump to have the guts to say, no, I'm going to slam this door. He saved Toronto from Dwayne Wade the other night. He alone made one big three from about four feet outside the line, behind the line. And I just sat back and said, well, that's just too good. DeRozan got untracked again. And again, the two big guys are out. So now it's sort of D Wade at home defending his turf. I'm happy you're going to be there. I think it's going to be fun to watch. I, I think, speaking of heart and guts, and nerve and savvy, I, I think Dwayne and Dwayne alone can hold down that fort tonight and get them back to Toronto. But yeah. we both picked Miami to win. I'm, I'm just not sure they can go back to Toronto. Now that the Toronto Stars have gotten back on track, I'm just not sure they can well, not, win that game. Seven. Not, neither am I, but we picked them believing that Hassan Whiteside yep. would be on the floor and healthy, and that's not the case. Yep. Luau Dang uh, is not healthy now, but Joe Johnson, I mean, the guy is too gifted, silky smooth to yep. be giving me 11 points or whatever. This dude's got to step up and help D. Wade. He really, really doesn't. Last time I checked, Goran Dragic is being paid over $80 million. Could you do something other than go left? Please, yeah. please, pretty please with sugar on top. Could you, could you do that for me? It really, really would be nice. It really would be. By the way, do you still have your key to the city of South Beach <laughs> as the mayor? I, they gave you an actual Man, key. Man, I'll never let that go. I, <laughs> do, I, I, do you, I'll you, never, I I'll never let that go. They, they, they well, gave me an actual open? key. Skip, Skip, are you ready for this real quick? Maybe not. I got lost last night driving here, and a police escort picked me up and escorted me to the studio to do sports at the last night. I, That's South how it Beach, should be. I, I am not South surprised. Beach. Neither am I. Big time right there. Yeah. Enjoy the game. Bye, guys. Let's get a cracker. Let's start the session. Mars lift the competition. Balls by that action. You can never debate it. This is actual fact. Stephen A with the flavor, baby. Let's get through a track. I'm like, say what? Say what? What's up with all my haters? I'm a ball when I perform. Some my jerseys in the air. I'm allergic to my haters. Every morning I put a player. Four takes. That's you. Three takes. Not me. Two takes. If you lucky. First take. Stop me. Four takes. That's you. Three takes. Not me. Two takes. If you lucky. First take. You got me.